Well, let's look at a trio of famous angular frequencies. So, angular frequencies that you run across frequently in oscillation. The basic first angular frequency is natural frequency of a mass spring system. If you have a mass M and a stiffness K in a spring, differential equation my double prime plus ky equals zero. And then natural frequency of the solution, natural frequency of oscillation, is square root of k over m. And people call that omega naught, the most basic frequency, most natural angular frequency. For example, if you have 2y double prime plus 16y equals zero, omega naught is square root of 16 over 2. Square root of 8 is 2 root 2. If you had a damper, to the oscillation, you'll change the frequency, but still it's only based on the inherent qualities of the system, the MB and the K, B for damping. So you look at the characteristic equation of this damped harmonic oscillator, ms squared plus bs plus k equals zero, and this gives you two solutions by the quadratic formula. When will you have oscillation? When you're under damped, when 4mk is larger than b squared. In that case, you factor out a minus 1, call square root of minus 1i. And if you rearrange the quadratic formula, so you divide first and second piece both by 2m, now that's slipping a 4m squared underneath the radical, then the roots are negative b over 2m plus or minus square root of k over m minus b squared over 4m squared. b squared has to be less than 4mk, otherwise the square root would not produce an imaginary number, would not produce oscillation. Now you look at the k over m, the k over m is omega naught squared, so this relates the frequency of damped oscillation, omega d, to omega naught. Omega d is omega naught squared minus b squared over 4m squared. The lighter the damping, the closer the quantity under the square root is to omega naught squared. So the lighter the damping, the closer the damped frequency is to the natural frequency. And as you increase the damping, the smaller you make that frequency. The slower this thing oscillates as it loses energy. For example, if y double prime plus 2y prime plus 17y equals 0, you say omega d is 17 minus 2 squared over 4 times 1. 17 minus 1 squared of 16 is 4. But you could have also had that omega d from the eigenvalues. You can quickly compute the eigenvalues of this second order equation as minus 1 plus or minus 4i. Omega d is 4. Finally, what happens if you have damped oscillation that's being driven by a driving force with a frequency of omega? What driving frequency, what omega would produce the response of maximum amplitude? Well, that's a famous frequency. That's called the resonant frequency. You'll get the maximum response from the system for light damping. You have to say b squared is less than 2mk if omega naught squared minus b squared over 2m squared square rooted. That's called omega r, the resonant frequency. It's a frequency that gives you the greatest amplitude response to the system. This is important in an electrical circuit or in a physical system. For example, same example as, as above. Y double prime plus 2y prime plus 17y equals 0. What frequency of driving function would give you the most response in amplitude from the system? Omega r is square root of 17 minus 2 squared over 2 times 1. 17 minus 2 square root of 15. That's called the resonant frequency of that system.